For the most part, don't worry about it. If you're asking yourself, well, Sheehan, If you're asking yourself, well, Sheehan, well, Sheehan, well, Sheehan, Sheehan. So yeah, I changed my name. It's a little after 11, and about, um, eleven hours from now I'll be in court to get my name changed. I'm nervous. I'm nervous and I don't entirely know why. I'm just nervous isn't necessarily the right way of putting it. Maybe it's just anxious, I guess. I don't know, it just feels weird. I don't quite know how to put it. It's a weird feeling like I'm... I'm anticipating... I'm anticipating something great, but... At the same time, I'm letting go of a big part of my past. It's just a bizarre feeling. I guess there's a part of me that's nervous because I mean, I know really this is like a formality, but this is a part of me that's waiting for the other shoe to drop, like it's going to be, um, I don't know, like the last second, like the judge is going to have a problem or something, I don't know. It's hard to be in a position to put a big part of the rest of your life in somebody else's hands like this. And I've got all my paperwork ready, my outfit picked out. I don't know. Everything's going to be fine. I need to stop stressing. I need to go to bed. Yeah.
So yeah, as it turned out, it wasn't actually that difficult to get my name changed. There were a lot of steps, but it wasn't very difficult. So, step one, I had to fill out an application and send it to the court. This was probably the hardest part because there were a lot of forms to fill out. So once I had it filled out, I mailed it to the court with the necessary fee. A couple weeks later, I got a reply with a hearing date and also instructions on what to do next. Now honestly, this part was a little bit weird because up until now, my only experience with name changes was when someone got married. But for this, I actually had to put a legal notice in the newspaper just in case any creditors are trying to hunt me down. Then the newspaper sent me back a confirmation saying that they had published it in the paper. When I went to the court, I had to bring that with me. And then once the actual hearing started, it lasted literally two to three minutes, maybe five if the judge was taking his time. And you know what? That's the way it should be. Because unless there's some extenuating circumstances why you shouldn't be able to get your name changed, there's no reason that the court should deny it. Now, I'm not going to lie. I live in New Jersey, and they're pretty easy going with these sort of things. If you're in some other states, you might run into a judge who doesn't want to do it. Because, you know, discrimination. But it seems more and more that that is changing. Which is a good thing. The process in the courtroom was actually pretty simple. I think today my hearing there were about eight people getting their names changed and it was pretty much an in and out process with a couple of questions. I'm sure that what you get asked varies from place to place, but it's pretty common sense. Are you trying to dodge creditors? Do you have any outstanding warrants? Why do you want to change your name? Pretty simple stuff. And ultimately, it was kind of a rubber stamp. So after I met with the judge, I got a copy of the final judgment, which actually is one of the forms that I had to fill out in the beginning. In the county that I'm in, they gave me five copies of this. I don't know if that's how it works across the entire state, and it probably differs in other places. Now apparently, there are some agencies which are a little particular about accepting your form. The final judgment that you get may or may not be notarized with what's called a gold seal. Gold seal. Apparently in New Jersey, Motor Vehicles is very particular about this. Other agencies, like the State Department, may want a copy of that as well if, say, you're trying to get a new passport. Now, at least in New Jersey, once you have this, there's one final step that you have to take before you can legally start using your new name. And that is to publish a second legal notice saying that your name change was approved. It's an extra step, but once it's done, you're good to go. Now, once this is done and your name is legally changed, you're going to have a lot of work ahead of you. Because up until this point, you've been using one name, and now you have to use another. Now, this is obviously going to vary depending on your circumstances, but you're probably going to have to change your license, possibly your passport, your bank, your credit cards, possibly a birth certificate, definitely social security, and possibly a myriad of other things. Basically, wherever there's a record of your name, you're probably going to want to change it. I mean, all in all, it was a pretty simple process. From stem to stern, from filling out the application until getting the final judgment today, it was about a month and a half. That's a pretty quick turnaround but it does give you some time to reflect. It's a weird feeling. I've gone by one name all my life. And to be perfectly honest, I did like my name. It just didn't fit me anymore. Fortunately, in my case, before I was born, my mom actually picked out two different names. And even before I figured out what was going on with me, I felt like I had some ownership over Shannon. Maybe that should have tipped me off. A lot of people, though, have a very negative relationship with their birth name. And in the trans community, whatever your birth name was, 
is widely known as your dead name. Being that I never really had a problem with my birth name, that's kind of a weird term for me. I guess growing up knowing that if I was assigned female at birth, Shannon would have been my name all along, I just always kind of felt like I had two names. I just wasn't using one before, now I'm not using the other one. It's still a part of me, but it's a part of me that's in my past now. And for me, my birth name isn't so much dead to me. It's just retired. I like that. Retired. But the important thing from here on out is that people understand that's not my name anymore. And there are some people who are very obnoxious and will go out of their way to use your birth name. That's not cool. But all in all, I feel good today. Having this box of my transition marked off is an important step. It's one more thing that allows me to be me. And in the end, that's what it's all about. So I guess that's all that I've got. So, hi there everybody. My name is Shannon, and uh, I'll see you around.